this stage is that the last known position on air traffic control radar of this flight was about 120 nautical miles south of the southern tip of Vietnam over the South China Sea. And we also know that Vietnamese media now quoting military sources there is reporting that this plane has crashed. We do not have that confirmed by any other sources. And we also know that relatives and friends waiting here at Beijing's Terminal 3 have been taken to a hotel where they are being provided with support and of course information when it comes by the authorities. If it is eventually confirmed that this plane has indeed crashed, then there will, of course, be speculation as to the cause. Uh, this was a regular route. The weather was reported to be good. Both Malaysian Airlines and this aircraft, the Boeing 777, have good safety records. We have, in the last few minutes, had a statement from the Chinese President, Xi Jinping, instructing airport, authority, uh, airport authorities across China to further enhance civil aviation security checks to ensure the absolute safety of the operation. In the wait for news, rumour and speculation are no help. But best guesses are all anyone has at the moment. More than 12 hours after flight MH370 was due to touch down in Beijing, it is still nowhere to be seen. Our thoughts and prayers are deeply with the affected passengers and the family members. The plane took off from Kuala Lumpur with 227 passengers and 12 crew members on board bound for the Chinese capital. But about two hours in, contact was lost. Its last known position on the air traffic control radar was towards Vietnam over the South China Sea, although Malaysian authorities won't confirm the location. Range for their the airline says it's now helping relatives move uh, between the two cities. Example, so some that want to go to Beijing, uh, for some the uh, ones that uh, there are also other members that might want to uh, pay respect, they might want to come to Kuala Lumpur. We also advise all our officers around the world. So we're making travel arrangements for the next of Meanwhile, the Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak said searches for the aircraft were being intensified. People from 14 different countries are listed as being on board, but almost two-thirds are Chinese nationals. Early this morning we received some very disturbing news. A Malaysian civil aviation flight bound for China lost contact with ground control. This has got us all very worried. We hope every one of the passengers is safe. The foreign ministry have activated the emergency mechanism. And with the Other passengers are from Malaysia, uh, Indonesia and Australia. At present there's no clarity, clarity as, to what, as to what has occurred. Yet can I just add that the families of the seven missing Australian passengers must be desperately concerned and the thoughts of the Australian government and I'm sure all Australians go out to them at the moment. The weather was reported to be good and the plane and its operator have healthy safety records. For governments, the airline and people on the ground, the hours that pass are as confusing as they are distressing. The operation to find the plane has so far produced nothing. In short, no one knows still exactly what it is they're dealing with here. Simon Clemerson, BBC News.